Yeah, of course I want to talk about this. We have our very first teaser trailer for The Marvels, another movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Phase 5. And I can just feel the positive comments bubbling up already. Ugh, this is the MCU now. Come on, man. Ever since this team-up was announced, I've been looking forward to it. Because it sounds like a pretty good team-up to me. So, alright, what do we got? Well, right away, the teaser starts out at this Saber space station, which totally looks like the Justice League's watchtower, just saying. But you're like, oh, okay, so this is where Nick Fury's been this whole time. Pretty much since the events of Avengers Endgame. We do see Nick Fury up there, so yeah. But then I thought to myself, doesn't this movie take place after Secret Invasion? Secret Invasion in which Nick Fury comes down to Earth. So really, the fact that we see Nick Fury in this trailer... See, I talked about this in my video about that new Secret Invasion trailer that dropped not too long ago. That trailer in which Nick Fury was like, One last fight. Oh, that could be Sam Jackson's last hurrah as Nick Fury. Nope, here he is in the Marvels, so he's gonna be fine. Unless he's Talos in disguise again. That could be possible. And I'm guessing this is where we're actually going to discover what Nick Fury has been up to this whole time. Why has he been off planet? And then we see Monica Rambeau up there. So you're like, oh, okay. You think back to that credit scene in WandaVision where she was summoned by that Skrull who was like, an old friend of yours wants to see you. And she points up. So this Saber space station is where Nick Fury has summoned her to. To investigate some hyperspace jump point or another, I guess. And that's when it happens. She tries to investigate the thing, but then she's pushed back. But instead of Monica Rambeau, we have Kamala Khan is in that spacesuit now. So they have switched places. So, in this movie, we have Monica Rambeau, played by Tiana Paris. We first saw this character as a kid in Captain Marvel. Now she's an adult, we saw her in WandaVision. We have Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel, from her own Disney Plus show. She's played by Iman Vellani. And of course, we have Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel. Once again, played by Brie Larson. And so the three of them are our main superheroes in this movie. But yeah, we got ourselves a problem here. It turns out every time they use their powers, they switch places, I guess. Which is a weird problem to have. When I first heard that was going to be the premise of this movie, I thought, I don't know about that. Is that really the best thing the writers could come up with? But then again, I imagine there are bigger things going on in this movie than just that. And also, then I gotta wonder why this is happening anyway. Why are they switching places in the universe every time they use their powers? That could lead to something bigger. This teaser trailer is actually pretty short. We don't get a whole lot, which is fine. This movie's not coming out for a while, but we do get a couple of snippets to talk about. Goose the Florkin is back, and he seems not to have aged a day. I did like seeing Miss Marvel's reaction to that. That was pretty funny. And there is one shot in this teaser where we see that Goose apparently has had a whole litter of little kitten Florkins. Oh dear god, there's gonna be Tentacle City up in here. From what we see in this teaser, it looks like we have ourselves another intergalactic adventure throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Which does make me wonder how this is gonna feel different from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, for example. Or Eternals, or any space-traveling MCU movie we've had already, including the first Captain Marvel. Well, maybe it won't. We have more Kree, the Kree are back, including a new accuser, I guess? I'm not gonna pose her posture, I have no idea who that is. But she does have that same kind of hammer thing that Ronan had, which is why I'm calling her a new accuser. Although she's not gonna be able to power that thing up with the Power Stone. Sucks for her. And then we get the big team up at the end. This is actually pretty cool. Cause we all knew a moment like this was gonna be in this movie. Whereas the three of them and they're teaming up and they're doing badass shit together. Switching places all awesome like because they choreographed the fight beforehand probably. It looks awesome. And plus, yes, I do love the fact that when we see Kamala Khan in that clip, she does extend her arm out like a fist. We all remember the big complaint about her power change from the comics when her show came out. And now we really find out why that power change was made. So she could tie in with Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau in the Marvels. And I don't know about you, but to me, it really works. Because this looks awesome. And in the end, that's all we got. The Marvels looks like it's going to be a lot of fun from the 90 seconds of footage we got. Thing is though, is that this movie's not coming out until November, seven months from now. Makes me wonder why we got this teaser so early. This movie was actually originally going to come out in late July, but since Marvel Studios made the decision to spread their projects out, now it's coming out in November. Again, I really like that decision though. Nia DaCosta's in the director's chair this time around. I hear she's a pretty good director, so we'll see what they have in store for us. Will this movie tie in with the multiverse saga? Who knows, but from where I'm standing, this movie still looks pretty fun. I'm excited for it. We're a team. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not a team. We're not a team. <gasps> so, the teaser trailer for The Marvels. Have you watched it yet? What are your thoughts on it? Are you as excited for this movie as I am? Or are you one of those weebs who's just like, Ugh, MCU, Marvel's going woke. Whatever opinion you have is fine as long as it's honest. So whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And of course, thank you for subscribing. Peace!